This is a regular condition that happens to all drivers. So here are some of the news reported from 2021 to 2022 regarding the crashes due to hydroplaning. In this condition, what is the best way to choose a suitable speed in different training conditions? We develop a system called as Rainy Speed Advisory System, RSAS. RSAS consists of rain intensity detection, speed detection, and speed display. Next is the operation of the system. Firstly, ensure the wires are all connected from the sensor to the Arduino Uno and also connected to the display. The wire also must be connected to the sensor in the rain gauge. In detecting the rain intensity, rainfall will be measured using the standard rain gauge. We modify this rain gauge by adding the water level sensor. The sensor represents three levels of rain which are light rain, moderate, and heavy rainfall. The speed in clear weather is set as 110 km per hour based on the speed limit on a highway. The advisory speed will change when the water touches the surface of the sensor. Based on the UK meteorological standards, the rainfall intensity of light rain is less than half a millimeter per hour, moderate rainfall is 0.5 to 4 millimeters per hour and lastly, heavy rainfall is greater than 4 millimeters per hour. In this stage, we used 100 km per hour as the advisory speed for light rain, 80 km per hour advisory speed for moderate rain, and 60 km per hour for heavy rainfall. The system consists of several components including a rain sensor system and Arduino as an information and command processor. As an output, the display system will display the actual and proposed speed of the vehicle. To introduce this system to road users, we post information about this system on our Facebook page Road Safety Awareness. How to identify the impact of this project? We conduct an online survey to get feedback on our system. Here is the demographic info for our survey. Based on this survey, the percentage of participants regarding crashes related to hydroplaning is high up to 29%. In addition, about 84% of participants lack experience on how to choose the appropriate speed when traveling during certain rainy conditions. Furthermore, there were about 93% of respondents agree that the RSAS system can be used to suggest the appropriate speed during rain.